Hi guys, my name is Erin and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my March TBR. So this TBR will be a little bit different formatted than usual because in March I'm participating in two month-long readathons. And so I'll have both of those, the intro videos for the readathons, linked below so that you can get the full explanation of how they're working and all their prompts from those who are hosting them. And so the first readathon is being hosted by Elliot Brooks, and it is the Animal Companions and Mythological Creatures readathon. So for this one, she's done a bingo board with all the prompts randomized throughout, and I've decided to just commit to doing one line of the bingo board, which is the bottom line. And so for the first prompt, C, so for the C prompt, I'll be reading Call of the Bone Ships by R.J. Barker. So this is an adult fantasy. It's the sequel to The Bone Ships, uh, which I loved last year in so this is an adult fantasy, it's a sequel to The Bone Ships, and in this world, bone or ships are made out of dragon bones, except it's been years and years since there's been any dragon sightings in the oceans. So now the two countries in this series are warring over the resources because they only have a finite number of bones left to make their ships. Until one day when there's a dragon spotted. And so this series follows specifically this one kind of down and out crew <laughs> of a ship and their adventures on the sea. So I'm very excited to read this and see where to pick up where the first one left off. And so for mythological creatures, it has dragons who are sea dragons as opposed to, you know, flying dragons like you might be used to seeing. So the next prompt on this list is South American and for that I will be reading Gods of Jade and Shadow by Sylvia Marina Garcia. So this is a kind of historical fantasy that set place during the Jazz Age in Mexico where our heroine unleashes the spirit of the Mayan god of death and he or they um, enlists her help in retaking their throne. And so this is very much steeped in Mayan folklore, I believe, and so this would fall under the, the mythological creatures side of this readathon. The next spot is the adult spot, and for that I will be reading The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. This is an adult kind of historical fantasy myth mythological retelling about um, Achilles and Petrocles and the Trojan War. And so I've heard wonderful things about this book, and I love Greek mythology, and I assume this will fall under the mythological creature side of this, as I presume we will see many gods and creatures from Greek myths appear. For the next spot, which is the Asian prompt, I'll be reading Empress of Salt and Fortune by Nivo. This is a novella that tells the story of a royal who is sent down for a no arranged marriage and we see her story through the eyes of her handmaiden. And so I believe this falls under the animal companion half of this this readathon prompt. It was recommended on Elliot's um, recommend master recommendation list for this readathon, so I'll be trusting the people who put it on there that I will see an animal companion in it. But I've heard great things about it from a couple of booktubers I've seen, so I'm excited to give it a try. And the last book I'll be reading for this readathon is for the Sky Square, which I will be reading The Reluctant Queen by Sarah Beth Durst. This is the second book in the Queens of Renthia trilogy and the sequel to The Queen of Blood. And so in this world, it's a forest world where nature is represented by different elemental spirits like air, water, fire, etc. And so this should fit the sky prompt because in the first book, the air spirits often took the form of birds or other flying creatures. And so I'm kind of counting that as kind of like a mythological creature. Not, it's not quite an animal companion. So hopefully we will see more of those specifically sky spirits in the second one. The second readathon I'll be participating in is the War Games readathon, which is a team competitive readathon, which I love competition, so sign me up. And, and there's three teams. There is the dark side, the light side, and the gray side. And so I've decided to participate on the dark side, which is captained by Aaron at Booked and Busy. So for each side, you have three archetypes for that kind of those kind of characters, and each archetype has five prompts. So I've decided to have a TBR for two of the archetypes, and if I make it through all these books, I'll take a stab at the third one. But so the two archetypes I'm doing is the temptress and the assassin. So for the assassin, the first prompt is a book that will make you cry. So for that, I've 
chosen a repeat from the other Rita Felina, A Song of Achilles. Um, I've heard this is a soul crusher of a read. I don't often cry when I read books, so if this one actually makes me cry, it'll be a feat. <laughs> the next prompt is a book with a creepy setting or a mystery. Uh, for this prompt, I chose the mystery side of it, and I'm doing Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. Um, this is about a, a open our apartment open house that goes wrong when a bank robber escapes and kind of takes them all hostages as the summary calls them the worst hostages of all time and kind of what unfolds in this apartment while the authorities are kind of surrounding the premises. I really liked Bear Town and Us Against You by this author so I've been looking to read more by this author and so I hope I will love this one as much as I love those. The next prompt is under hype book, and for that I'll be doing another repeat from the first read on TBR with Call of the Bone Chips by RJ Barker. I think this series as a whole is definitely under hyped, at least where I see people talking about books, because I never see anyone talk about it. I love this series and I think more people should read it. So go read this series. <laughs> the Next prompt is read in a book with assassins, and for that I have chosen Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. And really all I know about this series is that it's been described as assassin nuns. And I think that sounds great. I've heard there's a school setting, which I love school settings, so I'm very excited to pick this one up. And so the last prompt for this archetype is novella or short story. So for this, I've chosen a novella, uh, Silver in the Wood by Emily Tesh. This is the first in a duology about a man who lives in the woods who might not quite be human. And he's kind of just lives this peaceful, quiet existence in his little cottage. And then into his life stumbles this other man who kind of charms him and starts, I think, kind of bringing him out of his comfort zone. And it's about their burgeoning relationship as well as just what I've heard is this, this kind of just atmospheric, woodsy, foresty read. And so I'm pretty excited for it. I've heard good things about it. So that'll be my choice for this prompt. The next archetype is the Temptress. And the first prompt for that one is a new release. For this prompt, I'll be reading Shipped by Angie Hockman. This is an adult romance that came out in January. It is an enemies to lovers romance about these two people who are in competition for the same promotion at their company when they get stuck together on a company cruise to the Galapagos Islands. I love en enemies to lovers. So definitely excited to give this one a shot. The next pot prompt is a new to me author. And so for that one, I'll be reading The Dating Plan by Sarah Desai. This is another adult romance. And this is a fake relationship where these this, the heroine has been pressured by her family to get married. And so in order to kind of keep them off her back, she proposes to her friend for them to get fake engaged to keep their families happy. So I love a good fake relationship. It's probably one of my favorite tropes behind enemies to lovers. So very excited for this one. The next prompt is a book that is either grimdark, true crime, or horror. So I've decided to choose a book that is horror, and that is When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole. I've heard this one described as horror and thriller, and it revolves around gentrification in Brooklyn. And I think that'll be a really unique concept that's certainly never nothing like anything I've read in thriller or the few horrors I've read. I'm definitely very intrigued to find out what what happens in it. The next prompt is to read a science fiction. So for that, I'll be reading A Big Ship at the Edge of the Universe by Alex White. This follows one character who is a washed up treasure hunter and a second character who is a top pot racing pilot who has been framed for murder and their stories, how they collide when they both board a smuggler ship. And so hearing space and smuggler ship really taps into the part of me that loves the show Firefly. So that was really what hooked me into this one is space and smuggler ship. I don't actually think it'll be very much like the show Firefly, but it got me intrigued in it. The last prompt is Booktuber Wreck, and for that I'm doing another repeat from my other readathon TBR. I'll be reading The Reluctant Queen by Sarah Beth Durst, and this was a wreck I got from Tashana's channel. So that's my TBR for March. I believe that's 12 books, so I'll probably end up reading hopefully all of these, and I'll definitely end up throwing in a few extra here and there when things come in from the library or my mood strikes me. 
So let me know in the comments if you're participating in either of these readathons or just what you're thinking of reading in March. And I'll see you in my next video.